In the heart of Nairobi lies Kenya's busiest airport, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, an essential hub for East Africa. But a recent deal involving India's Adani Group to take over the airport has stirred a storm of controversy. Today, we unpack the complex and contentious story behind this deal. In 2024, the Kenyan government made a significant move, offering a $1.85 billion deal to Adani Airport Holdings, a subsidiary of India's Adani Group, to upgrade and operate JKIA under a 30-year lease. This build-operate-transfer agreement aims to modernize the airport's facilities and build a new terminal. Sounds like a win-win, right? But not so fast. Almost immediately, this deal faced backlash. The Law Society of Kenya and the Kenya Human Rights Commission sued the government, claiming that the deal violates constitutional principles of transparency and accountability. They argued that the process was rushed and the government bypassed normal procedures for public-private partnerships, raising suspicions of corruption. Here are some examples of the procedures bypassed in the Kenya Adani Airport. Public participation. Kenyan law requires public participation in large-scale public-private partnerships, allowing citizens and stakeholders to express their views before decisions are made. Critics argue that the process was rushed without adequate public consultation. Competitive bidding process. Typically, PPP agreements must undergo a competitive bidding process to ensure transparency, accountability, and value for money. However, Adani's deal was presented as a privately initiated proposal. Bypassing the normal open tendering process that would have allowed other companies to bid for the Project RE. Review by Public-Private Partnership Unit. Large infrastructure projects must be rigorously evaluated by the Public-Private Partnership Unit for feasibility, financial impact, and risk to the public. Critics argue that this critical review process was either inadequate or skipped altogether for parliamentary oversight. Critics claim the deal was not adequately scrutinized by Parliament, leading to concerns over lack of legislative oversight and committing public resource. Public outrage grew, fueled by concerns about the impact on Kenyans. The deal would likely lead to increased airport fees, potentially making travel more expensive for everyone. First, there are fears that thousands of local airport employees could lose their jobs, replaced by foreign workers under Adani's management. But why Adani? This isn't the first time the Adani Group has been in the spotlight. The company has faced multiple accusations of stock manipulation, labor rights violations, and even money laundering. Allegations have followed Adani across the globe, from India to Sri Lanka, and now Kenya. Kenya's aviation industry is crucial for its economy, handling over 10 million passengers a year at JKIA. The government argues that the airport desperately needs modernization. However, critics argue that Kenya could finance these upgrades independently without relying on Adani. Moreover, the deal's restrictive clauses could limit Kenya's ability to upgrade other airports. As the legal battle rages on, the deal has been halted by Kenyan courts, but the final ruling is yet to come. Will Adani's involvement secure the future of Kenya's largest airport, or will it cripple the country's aviation industry for decades? Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more deep dives into Africa's biggest stories.